Namaskara, welcome back to Fundamental of Electric and Electronics Engineering Laboratory. In this video, I am going to explain about series and parallel combination circuit and explain and uh, solving some simple problems. Okay, see in a previous video, I had explained about the series circuit and parallel circuit. And uh, I had explained, I derived an expression for uh, calculating the effective resistance in a series combination and parallel combination. See, in that, I had explained about behavior of the VI in a series circuit. See how voltage and current will behave in a series circuit. See, this is the concept. See, when uh, if it is a series circuit, the voltage will be divided across the each resistor. See, here uh, there are three resistors. Each resistor have a different voltage drop that is called V1, V2, and V3. And current will be same. The same current flows from point A to point B. See, like this. See, the same current I flows from all the resistors in a series combination. But voltage is divided across the each resistor. Each, if the resistor value is a different, then each resistor will have different voltage drop across each resistor. See, this is the behavior of V and I in a series circuit. But if it is a parallel circuit, the voltage across all the parallel combination is the same. That is a V, the applied voltage. It is a V applied voltage. And the current across each resistor will be divided. In a parallel combination, current will be divided. In a series combination, voltage will be divided. See here, the main current I flows here and it will be divided as I1, I2 and I3. See, this is the behavior of a parallel uh, behavior of V and I. That is the voltage and the current in a series and parallel combination. That can be calculated with the help of voltage divider rule and current divider rule. See, first thing is voltage divider rule. The voltage divider rule is applicable only for series combination. See, this is the circuit. It's a series combination. The series combination means the it draws a single line from the one point to another point. See here, I am drawing a single line. There is not multiple line. The one point here from positive to negative. So only one path is there. That is called series. Here in this circuit, I have a three resistor R1, R2 and R3. All these things is connected in a single series because one, one, one line is existing. And voltage across each resistor will be V1, V2 and V3. The formula to find out this voltage V1 will be equal to total applied voltage that is called V in and uh, resistance of the same branch. See here, if I want to find the voltage across R1, say I have to take the total voltage that is V in and the rest multiply with the resistance of same branch that is R1 divided by the total resistance R1 plus R2 plus R3. So this is the formula. This can be derived with the help of Ohm's law and uh, uh, Equation of V equal to I into R. See, all this uh, derivation is not required. You just remember this voltage divider rule means in a series combination, voltage divider across each resistor that can be calculated with the help of the formula. See, this is a general formula. In a series combination, voltage across any resistor, you take out any resistor equal to total voltage, the total voltage applied across the resistor combination into resistance of the same branch. The same resistance has to be multiplied divided by the total resistance that is R1 plus R2 R3. See this is the formula they used in a, a voltage divider rule to calculate the voltage across the each resistor in a series combination. It can be applicable only for the voltage uh, series combination. See next is the current divider rule. Current divider rule is applicable for the parallel circuit. Here it is a two resistor I am considering with a DC voltage source. This source current I has flows here at this point it will be divided into I1 and I2. See how it will be considered as a parallel combination from the positive to negative. If I draw a line, this is one line. And again, I can draw a second line. See, this is a two lines. The two lines are parallel to each other. So that's a current divider rule. And uh, to compute the branch current, the I1, I2, we call that as a branch current. To compute the or calculate the branch current, this is a formula I1 equal to total current that is IS into resistance of the other branch. See, if I am calculating the current across R1, I have to multiply it with the R2 here. See, R2 I am considering. In a voltage divider rule, the same resistor is considered. But in current divider rule, it is considered with a different resistor. That is R2 divided by total resistance, R1 plus R2. Like that, I2, if I want uh, I2, that is a branch current to source current that is IS, into multiplication of the other resistor that is R1, R1 divided by R1 plus R2. So this is a formula they use and again this formula can be derived with the help of Ohm's law V equal to I into R. Uh, 
uh, you just remember this, this is uh, sufficient. The current through one branch is equal to the line current. See this, the current through any branch equal to line current, the main current, multiplied by the resistance of the other branch, the other branch resistor divided by the total resistance. This is the formula they used in a current divider rule. So this is the behavior of a voltage and current in a series and parallel combination. See next, uh, so effective resistance uh, in a series circuit. See this is a, a derivation I have explained in the previous video. I am just uh, showing that we consider any series circuit. Uh, the effective resistance will be equal to the addition of all this resistance R1 plus R2 plus R3. How this will be upon series circuit from one end to the other end is connected. So that is called a series circuit. See here R1, R2. The R2 is connected to R1 end and R3 is connected to R2 end and uh, it is a neg uh, negative terminal and it is a positive terminal. So, this is a series combination. This can be represented with a uh, uh, simple circuit saying replacing all these three with the F2 resistance RS with a single voltage source. The RS equal to R1 plus R2 R3. This is a derivation. Uh, it is explained in a previous video. We won't refer to it. If you consider N resistor is connected in a uh, uh, series combination. There are n number of resistors is connected in series combination. The effective resistance will be equal to Rs equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3. Like that, you have to take plus R. See, may assume that there are 10 resistor. The 10 resistor is connected in series. The effective resistance will be addition of all these 10 resistor is called series resistor. See, next is the parallel resistor. In a parallel resistor. Uh, the effective resistance is equal to 1 divided by Rp, that is a reciprocal of Rp equal to R1, 1 divided by R1 plus 1 divided by R2 plus 1 divided by R3. This is the formula explained in a previous video and this is a circuit. See here the main current here, uh, uh, the high is flows here and it is divided into three paths I1, I2, I3 and again it is recombined and uh, again it flows to the source. See this is a three lines. Uh, in a single point, all these three resistors are connected to in a single point A and B. This becomes a parallel circuit. The effective resistance will be equal to 1 divided by R, equal to 1 divided by R1 plus 1 divided by R2 plus 1 divided by R3. It can be replaced with a single RP resistor and a single voltage source. This is a parallel combination. Uh, all the derivation is explained in a previous video. If uh, the two resistors are connected in parallel combination, the, the general formula, the simplest formula will be Rp equal to R1, R2 divided by R1 plus R2, that is product of two resistors divided by sum of resistors. So this can happen, uh, this is general formula, 1 divided by Rp equal to 1 divided by R1 plus 1 divided by R2. The LCM of this R1, R2 is R1 into R2 and uh, you just addition this R2 plus R1 and rearranging this, take out a reciprocal, the Rp equal to R1, R2 divided by R1 plus R2. So this is a parallel combination. So next coming to series and parallel combination. If this, in general, the circuits as a combination of series and parallel, that is called a combination, a series and parallel combination. In this example, there are two resistor R1 and R2 is connected parallel and three resistor R1, R2 and R3 is connected parallel. Both has been connected in a series fashion. If this is a A to C is a series fashion, but AB is a two resistor connected R1, R2 and uh, from point B to C, three resistors connected and uh, so this is called series and parallel combination circuit. To compute the effective resistance, first uh, you have to solve A to B. This uh, you have to compute the effective, capa effective resistance across A to B. That can be done 1 divided by RAB equal to it's a two oh, resistor. The general formula they apply 1 divided by uh, R resistor across AB equal to R1 R2 divided by R1 plus R2. Like that, the three resistor combination there is a RBC uh, formula, then the effective resistance will like this. Voltage source, if this is RAB and this is RBC. RAB from this point and RBC this point, both has been connected series. The effective resistance will be addition of this two. This is the total effective resistance from this combination. So this is called uh, series and parallel combination. It may be like this or it may be some different configuration also. Like in this example, if two resistors connected parallel, again one resistor is in series with this one and again two resistors is in a parallel. This can be replaced like this, RAB, RAB means R1 parallel with R2, 
and R3 and R4 and R5 parallel that is RCD. So the effective combination will be series. The total effective resistance equal to addition of RAB plus R3 and uh, plus RCD. So like this, you can compute the combination of a series and parallel uh, circuit. And uh, there are some simple problems. I'm just uh, you need to solve this problem. I'm giving the general idea. So this is a from this point to this point. It's a single line. You can say it is a series circuit. There are three resistor R1, R2, R3. It's a 10 ohm, 20 ohm, 30 ohm. The effective resistance. Find out the effective resistance. R S equal to addition of this three resistor. You can compute this addition means you need to do 10 plus 20 plus 30. That will be effective resistance. In this problem, you can find out I also. By using the Ohm's law, I equal to V by R, V by R, C, you know, V applied voltage is at 12 volt, can divide by 12 divided by effective resistance, effective resistance means total resistance, 10 plus 20 plus 30, uh, if you divide that, you will get I, so this is the way you can find out the uh, unknown parameter with the known parameter using Ohm's law, and this is the second problem, in this one, this is the one common part and this is the one common point, there are, you can see two line, three line and four line. There are four resistor connected in a parallel fashion. R1, R2, R3 and R4, each having a 10 ohm, 20 ohm, 30 ohm and 40 ohm. You need to apply the formula, one divided by RP equal to one divided by R1 plus one divided by R2 plus one divided by R3 plus one divided by R4 and do the calculation, you will get the effective resistor. And you can find out the I also, I equal to V by R, that is a 24 divided by R parallel, you will get the I. And you can also find the branch current I1, I2, I3, I4 with the help of current divider rule. You have to do this problem. And again, one more resistor, it's a combination of series and parallel. See here, it's a two resistor is in series. First, you need to calculate this 8 ohm and 4 ohm. Then you bring down the circuit like this. See, this will be the second stage. This is the effective resistance that is a 8 plus 4 and this is a 12 ohm. Then this is parallel combination. You need to calculate the parallel combination resistor and will take bring down to a single resistor. And this is 6 ohm and this will be the R effective from this formula. And now this is series combination. You need to find out the effective resistor. This way you can do the effective resistor and you can find out the current also. IT is a current. IT equal to V by R. The stall volt divided by effective resistor. You will get the current. And at the same time, you can find out the I1 and I2 also. See the another example. This is a combination of series and parallel. These two are series. First, you need to find out. Uh, it's a 5 plus 15. It will become single. And then, this is a parallel combination. You have to bring down into single. Then, all these things are a series. Like this, you have, there are so many problems uh, in your textbook also. You go and uh, uh, work it out. Thank you.